Ever noticed gray hair and wondered, is it just age or something more? Can we actually reverse it? The science behind gray hair. Gray hair is the result of a gradual loss of pigment producing cells called melanocytes in our hair follicles. These cells are responsible for producing melanin, the pigment that gives our hair its natural color. Over time, as we age, the number of active melanocytes decreases, resulting in less melanin production and the appearance of gray, silver, or white hair. But why does this happen? And can we do anything about it? Did you know all human hair is actually white before it gets its color from melanin? Here's a cool fact. Research shows that our hair may contain more than one color. The transition to gray often begins at the roots leading to a spectrum of shades as old and new hair mix together. Now, let's dig a little deeper. The reduction in melanocyte activity is part of a natural biological process. However, this process is not identical for everyone. Some people go gray early, while others maintain their natural hair color well into old age. So, what are the factors that contribute to this variation? Age and genetics. As we already discussed, gray hair is a natural part of aging. But the most significant factor in determining when you'll start graying is your genetic makeup. If your parents or grandparents started graying early, you're likely to follow suit. This has been confirmed in numerous studies, suggesting that the onset of graying is largely inherited. In fact, scientists have identified a gene called IRF4, which plays a crucial role in regulating melanin production and has been linked to premature graying. Who else here blames their genes? Comment below. Dr. Kostab Adhikari, a geneticist from University College London notes, the IRF4 gene is the first gene identified as playing a role in gray hair and it helps explain why some people go gray earlier than others. In short, if you've been noticing those gray hairs earlier than expected, you might just have your parents to thank for it. However, the timeline for this varies across different ethnic groups. Research shows that Caucasians tend to go gray earlier with the first strands appearing in their mid-30s, while Asians typically start graying in their late 30s, and African Americans usually experience it in their early to mid-40s. But why the difference? It's all about biology and how your body is wired. It's thought to be linked to differences in hair structure and the rate at which melanocytes decline in different ethnicities. And now you know, it's in the genes. Oxidative stress. But aging isn't the only culprit. Oxidative stress is basically when free radicals, the bad guys, outnumber antioxidants, messing with your hair's pigment cells. And yes, stress can make it worse. Oxidative stress essentially exhausts the melanocytes in hair follicles. Over time, they stop functioning properly, resulting in less pigment, explains Ya Chi Su, a leading researcher from Harvard University. Moreover, oxidative stress can be caused by environmental factors like pollution and UV exposure, but it also naturally increases with age, contributing to the gradual decline of melanocytes in our hair follicles. Stress and Lifestyle Factors For years, people have debated whether stress causes gray hair. It turns out, science backs the claim. A 2020 study conducted by researchers at Harvard University found a direct connection between psychological stress and premature graying. When we're stressed, the body releases norepinephrine, a hormone involved in the fight-or-flight response. This hormone can deplete the melanocyte stem cells and hair follicles, leading to premature graying. Under stress, your body produces a surge of norepinephrine, which can drive melanocyte stem cells into overdrive causing them to eventually burn out and cease melanin production, says Dr. Robert Lefkowitz, a Nobel laureate in chemistry. However, recent research from Columbia University shows that stress-induced graying may be reversible. The study, published in 2021, suggests that reducing stress levels can restore hair color in some cases. That's right, gray hair caused by stress might not be as permanent as once thought. But it's not just psychological stress that accelerates graying. Lifestyle choices, like smoking, have also been strongly linked to premature graying. A 2013 study published in the British Medical Journal found that smokers are more than twice as likely to experience early graying compared to non-smokers. So while you can't change your genes, maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help delay the onset of gray hair. Could stress be causing your gray hairs? Share your thoughts. Medical conditions and nutritional deficiencies. 
With that in mind, certain medical conditions and nutritional deficiencies can also contribute to premature graying. For example, a vitamin B12 deficiency has been linked to early graying. This vitamin plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy hair, and without it, your body may struggle to produce enough melanin. Other conditions like thyroid disorders, autoimmune diseases such as vitiligo and alopecia areata, and even rare genetic conditions like neurofibromatosis and tuberous sclerosis can interfere with melanocyte function, leading to premature graying. Dr. Sarah Lacey, a dermatologist at the British Association of Dermatologists, states, Premature graying is often associated with systemic health issues, and addressing underlying medical conditions can sometimes slow the process. The graying process. So what's happening on a microscopic level when our hair turns gray? At the base of each hair follicle lies a reservoir of melanocyte stem cells. These cells are responsible for producing the melanocytes that generate melanin. As we age, these stem cells become less active or can even disappear entirely and without melanocytes to produce melanin, the new hair that grows will be devoid of color, resulting in gray or white strands. According to Mayumi Ito, a researcher at New York University, the graying process begins when the melanocyte stem cells fail to regenerate properly, either due to damage or natural depletion. Can gray hair be reversed? For years, the general consensus has been that once your hair turns gray, there's no going back. However, new research is challenging that assumption. Let's explore some of the exciting developments in this area. Stress-Induced Graying As mentioned earlier, a 2021 study by researchers at Columbia University found that stress-induced graying can, in some cases, be reversed when the source of stress is removed. This finding contradicts the long-standing belief that gray hair, once it appears, is permanent. In the study, participants who reduced their stress levels saw some of their gray hairs regain their natural color. While this reversal was not observed in all cases, it offers hope for those experiencing stress-related graying. The Stuck Stem Cells Another breakthrough came in 2023 from New York University researchers. They discovered that graying might be caused by melanocyte stem cells getting stuck in the hair follicles. In normal circumstances, these cells move between compartments in the follicle to mature into melanocytes, which produce melanin. However, when they become immobile, they fail to regenerate, leading to gray hair. The researchers believe that by restoring the mobility of these stem cells, it may be possible to reverse the graying process. This represents a promising avenue for future treatments aimed at reactivating dormant melanocyte stem cells. Individual Gray Hair Darkening while the large-scale reversal of gray hair is still out of reach, some people have experienced individual gray hairs darkening again. A 2023 review reported that this phenomenon is more common than previously thought, suggesting that certain hairs can regain their pigment over time. Though we don't fully understand why this happens, it offers an intriguing clue that graying may not be as reversible as once believed. Potential Treatments – What's on the Horizon? However, several treatments are currently being explored to either prevent or reverse gray hair. One approach involves peptides, such as palmitol tetrapeptide 20, which have shown potential in preserving melanocyte function and promoting hair pigmentation. Some companies have already started incorporating these peptides into hair care products aimed at reducing or reversing gray hair. Let me tell you guys, peptides are short chains of amino acids, and some can interact with the skin and hair to potentially stimulate cell functions like pigmentation. Additionally, researchers are investigating ways to unstick melanocyte stem cells, allowing them to regenerate and restore pigment production. While these treatments are still in the experimental stage, they offer hope for future solutions to gray hair. Heard some wild myths about gray hair? Let's debunk them. Myths and Misconceptions About Gray Hair Let's set the record straight on some gray hair myths you've probably heard. Myth number one, plucking gray hairs causes more to grow back. This is perhaps one of the most widespread myths about gray hair. Many people believe that plucking a gray hair will cause multiple gray hairs to grow back in its place. However, this is not true. Plucking a gray hair only removes the hair from the follicle, and a new gray hair will grow in its place, not multiple. Myth number two, only old people get gray hair. While gray hair is often associated with aging, it can happen at any age. Premature graying can occur in people as young as their teens or 20s, depending on factors like genetics, stress, and heart conditions. 
In fact, studies show that up to 50% of people have some gray hair by the time they turn 50, but graying can begin much earlier for some. Myth number three, gray hair is coarser and harder to manage. Many people believe that gray hair is naturally coarser and more difficult to manage. However, this change in texture is not due to the color, but to the loss of natural oils in the hair as we age. Gray hair can feel drier and more brittle, but this can be managed with the right hair care routine, including moisturizing shampoos and conditioners. The future of gray hair research. However, the future of gray hair research looks promising, with scientists focusing on the mechanisms behind graying and exploring potential treatments. The discovery of the role of stem cell mobility in graying is particularly exciting, as it could pave the way for interventions that restore hair color. Additionally, advances in gene editing technologies like CRISPR could one day allow scientists to modify genes responsible for gray hair, potentially preventing or reversing the process entirely. Dr. Kazuhiko Inoue, a prominent researcher in the field of aging, states, As our understanding of the molecular mechanisms behind graying improves, it's becoming increasingly likely that we will develop effective treatments to prevent or reverse gray hair in the future. Embracing gray hair, a shift in perspective. While the science of gray hair is evolving, it's important to remember that gray hair is not something to be feared or avoided. In recent years, there has been a growing movement towards embracing gray hair as a natural part of aging, with many people choosing to forego hair dye and celebrate their silver strands. In fact, gray hair has become something of a fashion statement, with celebrities and influencers proudly showcasing their natural grays. From models like Carmen Delorifis to actors like Jamie Lee Curtis, gray hair is being redefined as a symbol of confidence and authenticity. Gray hair is just another color. There's no reason to hide it, says celebrity hairstylist Jack Martin, who has helped many of his clients transition to gray. Is reversing gray hair a possibility? So is there hope for reversing gray hair? While we're not quite there yet, recent research suggests that it may be possible under certain conditions, particularly when graying is caused by stress. The discovery of stem cell mobility in hair follicles also offers exciting potential for future treatments. For now, the best way to manage gray hair is to focus on overall health, reduce stress, and embrace the natural changes that come with aging. And who knows, science may one day offer a way to restore our hair to its youthful color. Until then, gray hair remains a testament to the journey of life. So while gray hair might tell the story of time, it's also a testament to the marvels of your body's biology. Whether you embrace it or hope to reverse it, one thing's for sure, gray hair is part of the journey. Hit the subscribe button for more fascinating science behind everyday mysteries. And don't forget to comment below. We'd love to hear your gray hair stories.